Israeli President Shimon Peres today delivered a historic speech to the full house of the European Parliament here in Strasbourg. The Israeli leader braved extreme weather conditions to journey down from Paris after a meeting with President Hollande to Strasbourg to deliver a historic speech to the full European Parliament of 754 members from the 27 European Union countries. After the welcome formalities, he began his address to a packed chamber with standing room only. I stand here before you, burning with burning memories in my heart and great hope in my soul. I carry profound pain concerning the past, and I look with great confident confidence to the future. President Perez made it clear in his speech that Hezbollah is a terrorist organization and should be prescribed as such. Call terror, terror. Save Lebanon from terrorist madness. Save the Syrian people from the Iran proxies. Save your citizens and ours from Hezbollah. The international community has to des designate Hezbollah as a terrorist organization because they are a terrorist organization. Regarding Palestine, a two-state solution is the only solution, the Israeli president assured MEPs. Our hand remains stretched out to peace with all the countries in the Middle East. In a short while, a new Israeli government will be formed. It is an occasion to resume the peace negotiations, to realize the two-state solution. There is no other solution, neither for the Palestinians nor for us. On the issue of Iran, President Perez stressed that all options remain on the table and that the policies of the Iranian leadership do not only threaten Israel, but the entire world. The greatest danger to peace in the world today is the present Iranian regime. It became a dictatorship cloaked in a religious mantle. It developed an impossible imperial appetite. Nobody threatens Iran. Iran threatens others. It endangers the independence of the Arab countries. It menaces the existence of the Israeli state. It smuggles arms to many countries in order to undermine their stability. They deny Holocaust. They call for another Holocaust. They are aiming to build a nuclear weapon and deny they do it. Hans Gert Pottering, what was your view of the message given today by the President of Israel? It was a great speech President Perez made here in the European Parliament. We had an extraordinary good attention of the members of Parliament and they all stood up after his speech and applauded and they listened, everybody listened very carefully to what he said and I think his messages were very good as well so it was a great speech. Shimon Peres is a great statesman. It's an honor to have him here. He conveyed a message of concern about Iran, some very interesting thoughts on globalization, and most importantly, his commitment to a two-state solution. It was a very positive speech, and uh, I think the messages were very clear. That is really good to, to hear from uh, the president of Israel that uh, the peace is uh, not only the strategic uh, priority of uh, Israel, but also a moral challenge. I was very, very moved. Um, here was a man who all his life had been dedicated patriotically to his country, wanting to have a settlement with his neighbors and to have peace. There was so much in this speech that uh, I, I did thoroughly welcome, of course. Uh, he made a particular pitch in relation to uh, the listing of uh, Hezbollah uh, by the European Union. 
I don't think that's going to take great traction. Uh, I've just returned from Lebanon and of course the EU missions on the ground there and the United Nations are putting forward a very different argument that they have to be kept in uh, the working system for us to keep making any progress in that part of the world. Uh, and the other thing that particularly struck me was uh, the pitch that he was making uh, on behalf of uh, Syrian people. But I can tell you when I speak to Syrians directly including Syrian refugees who are suffering at the hand of uh, the current uh, Syrian uh, administration, uh, the Israelis are the last person that they would talk to, uh, would turn to, to be their spokespeople. I was very moved, and this great figure of history, looking into the future, finding solutions, finding solutions between the enemies of the regions and with, and find a relationship to Europe. And therefore, I think this man of vision has the support of the European Parliament. So a range of opinions as to the content of Mr. Perez's speech, but universal acclaim for Mr. Perez, the man. Colin Stevens for JM1, the European Parliament in Strasbourg.